Hello, Scratchers! In the last video, I introduced the Media Utils extension in Gandhi IDE. I will show you a new demo now. I just made a Gandhi tube. You can play and pause the video, jump to anywhere in the video. I made all these functions with the Media extension in Gandhi IDE. Today, I will introduce the video part of it to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, join our Discord server and discuss with us. We also have a code analysis tool. It will give your project a grid based on your code. How many stars can you get? Come and try it. OK, let's go back to the editor. First, install Media Utils. Click on this button. Find it and install it. I introduced LazyLord in the last video. To use it, you need to upload files to the cloud backpack. Click on this button. You can find the media here. Click Upload. Choose the video file. Now, the video file is in your cloud backpack. Let's go back to the code. Click this button to reload lazy videos. Use this block to lazy load a video. Now, you can find the files you just uploaded. The name can be any string. Let's name it video. Next block, when a video resource is loaded, this event will be triggered. You can use this block to check whether the video is loaded. Now I have loaded a video file. Before I play it, I should draw it on the stage. Use this block to draw a video. These two options are used to set a layer of the video. You can make it go to the layer just above or below a sprite. It can be any sprite in the project. You can set the position and size of the video. Use the upper left corner of the video to determine the position. And the position is based on the current sprite. For example, if the sprite is at 0, 0, draw the video. The upper left corner will be at 0, 0. If the sprite is at 100, 0, the upper left corner will be at 100, 0. You can input X and Y offset to adjust the position of the video. The size of the video is determined by the width and height of it. I suggest scaling the video proportionally. You can get the original width and height of the video with this block. There are three more options. Volume, current time, and duration. If you want to scale the video to half its original size, Multiply both numbers by 0.5. If you want it to be the middle of the stage, set x offset to half of the y multiplied by minus 1. Set y offset to half of the height multiplied by minus 1. In this section, you can use this block to play the video. Just make sure that the video has been drawn. The first input is the name of the video. The second input is the start point. You can start a video at any point. In the drop-down box, you can choose the mode. If you choose loop, the video will repeat over and over again. If you choose stop, it will be played only once. When an event about a video received, this block will be triggered. There are 7 options in the drop-down box. Normally, duration change will happen when a video is loaded. Progress will be dispatched while loading. Time update will be dispatched while playing. 
ended will be dispatched when a video reaches the end. Play or pause will be dispatched when a video is played or paused. Error will be dispatched when an error is encountered. Use this block to pause, resume, or remove the video. If you pause the video, you can resume it, but if you remove it, the video cannot be resumed. The last block in this section is used to set a volume of the video. Okay, that's all. I can't wait to see how you can use videos in your games. Don't forget to post your game in the comment. Subscribe to this channel and don't miss new videos about Gandhi ID. See you next time.